So the United States State Department has put out a warning, a warning for travelers going to Colombia. Now, why are they warning travelers going to Colombia? Well, a lot of you passport tricks, and yes, I'm going to say passport tricks. I won't call you a passport bro. Y'all know I do not support tricking. I don't support it in America. I don't support you traveling to trick. Don't support that. I think that's extremely lame that you're going to get on a plane, travel thousands upon thousands of miles to trick. You didn't have to do that. You could have tricked right here in America. Why, why are you going to spend that much money to go trick, right? Some of you, I've seen the videos where you thinking that a woman that's out here tricking on, on the 304 stroll and giving you attention, you acting like, Ooh, look at these women out here. Boy, look, they, they treat us better out here. Like, yeah, she's going to treat you better because you're about to pay her. You're paying her for the girlfriend experience. Come on now. So what's happening, the State Department has warned that a lot of you, they've seen the, the, the recent deaths. There's a lot of deaths of men that's happening in Colombia. How they're dying is they're meeting these women on dating apps. These women are tied in with different gangs and cartels. These guys are trying to meet up with these women. They start off meeting up with them, like as the State Department said, at a public restaurant, a public place. And then they get them to, you know, take them back to their, their place. And then they set them up. And the guys come in and rob them. Or the other thing they're doing is they're getting, getting drugged by a, a particular drug they use, scoflamine. They put it in a, a man's drink and he drink it and it leaves him incapacitated. And the reason why a lot of people are dying from that is because, you know, they using too much. And so if they use too much, take you on out of here. So they're trying to rob you of, you know, your passport, your money, your laptops, anything else that you have. This is a risk you take when you're going out the country in a country that's considered third world. I mean, we are talking about what is considered. And you out here, not only tricking, I watched a lot of interviews with women talking about how y'all moving out in Colombia before I made this video. And they all had a consensus that what a lot of you doing, you tricks, you go out to Colombia and you are flashing money at these women. Now, in America, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't come out here and just flashing money at women in America. Why? Because you know if some dudes see you flashing money, then they're like, oh yeah, I got to get him. So if you wouldn't do it in America, why would you go down there and do it? Then some of you go out there flossing, some of you, trying to floss this, wear it. You know, certain things I don't wear in, in certain places I travel, I, I'd be low key as possible. Very low key. Because you want to be low key because you want to draw attention to yourself and at the same time. I stay at places where I don't have a certain problems. I'm not that not tricking. So I don't really have the issue, the problems that you have. If I went to Columbia, I'm not going to no clubs where women are selling themselves. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to go there and take care of business. Or if I'm on vacation with family and, and that's it. Cause I remember what, who too recently well, went to Columbia, uh, my business manager, Kellen, he took his family to Columbia and he had a great time, but he was not there looking to trick either. Cause he was out there with his family. But, it's, but the, the State Department are trying to warn y'all, passport tricks. Like I say, it's not the bros, it's the tricks. They want y'all leave them women alone because also it's having y'all getting kidnapped. And then they, they're holding y'all for ransom. And then if y'all not paying or whatever, they're taking your life. It, it's, it's really going on in, in Colombia, Medellin or whatever, that main city. It's happening in Cartagena too, but, but they mentioned that one for sure. Bogota, all those places. You Now, my issue is this. You say that women are bad here in America, but then you travel to Colombia to get women that's worse. And real I say it's worse because, yes, the women may have issues here, but the woman is not selling herself that you're talking about. But you go over there talking about she's cooperative. Yes, she's cooperative. You're paying her. Yes, you're going to laugh at all your jokes. You're paying her, bruh. What do you think? And then some people, oh, he just hating. He just hating. What? A, why would I hate on that? Like, I'm hating, but you know what? I'm, I'm going to be I'm gonna be alive. I'm not about to get, they're not about to scope for me and me because I'm not going to be around them. 
I'm not there tricking. I'm going to be at my house and my wife and wherever else I'm at, but definitely not out there looking for them. So the state department warned y'all stay off the dating apps. That's another thing they said. Cause they're setting y'all up through dating app. So you dudes go out there who's socially awkward. We can tell you who you are, but based on how you're dressing and how your shoe game is, trust me, the shoe and sock game, give them away a lot. If you pay attention to it, you're socially awkward. You can't get no woman. No, cause let me tell you what it is. A man that's successful, a man that got his act together, he can get a woman anywhere he wants. But the only thing I would say about the Western world, it's going to take you a hot minute. And you take a risk in the Western world too, especially the way the marriage laws are. But if you go to a different, you know, go to a different country, you go find you a good woman. Like, like the brother uh, Andre from, from uh, Love Crossing Borders. He did, he got him a wife out there in Colombia. He said his wife uh, is an accountant. So he got him a woman that, that actually has something going on. They had a career. Go out there in Colombia and get you a woman like that. They got a career, a woman that's mature, a woman that's want to want to actually fall in love and, and, and have a family. That's what y'all are supposed to be traveling for. Not tricking, bro. Because think about this. You tricking and, and your life is worth tricking? Bro, like I said, you could have stayed here with that. At least, at least you're not getting drugged with that drug out here in America. Not say you won't get robbed or set up in America. You could, but you don't hear a bunch of the, the tricks getting, getting off to by the scope of me. I'm just giving y'all a warning. It's like the state department warning y'all. They are warning you. So trick at your own risk in Colombia. It's the only thing they're saying.